What's up, beautiful people? Your girl is back. Um, I am pulling up today with a full wash day routine. Yup, your girl hopped in the shower and decided to give y'all this full wash day that you guys have been seeing in my videos for a while. A lot of you guys have been asking how I've been achieving the look that I've been getting. So this is it from start to finish. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. All right, so first things first, we gotta start with rinsing our hair. Um, one thing that you guys don't usually see because I don't usually film in the shower is that I am very particular about making sure that my hair is thoroughly rinsed. I like to rinse off as much product as I can. And I did speed this up, but this can kind of give you an idea of how long it takes my hair to get fully saturated. It, it still takes a minute. I know I'm gonna get questions about it. I will try to link the shower head in the description box for you. So of course we gotta start off with cleansing. All the products are gonna be she scented today. Um, today I'm using the Plum Nectar and Agave Curl Perfection Shampoo. So this is one of my favorite clarifying shampoos. Um, this does a really, really great job of getting rid of everything. It has a really nice gel consistency. Um, and I absolutely love it because I can use this and just move on and use whatever I want to. I don't feel like I absolutely have to use a moisturizing shampoo after this. So I like to go in on fully soaking wet hair and I always start with my scalp first. I like to get the perimeter as well as like the underside of my hair. Make sure you get that like underside of your hair. Get your kitchen y'all. Make sure you're cleaning that. <laughs> Um, so I like to get those areas first and then I will drag the shampoo down and then if I feel like I need a little bit more I will add a little bit more shampoo to my ends um, and I like to thoroughly cleanse everything. I'm not one of those people that's like oh you know I'm just gonna wash my scalp and just let it run down. To me I put the most product at the ends of my hair so why wouldn't I wash the rest of it? So th that's me. <laughs> Um, and of course, I'm going to thoroughly rinse. Again, make sure you get that underside of your hair. Um, if you deal with a lot of dryness, make sure that you are rinsing out all the shampoo from the underside of your hair. Because um, if you leave that in, it's going to dry out and that's no bueno. All right, y'all, we are so fresh and so clean. And now I'm gonna be a little extra. So I did, you don't have to do this. I don't do this all the time. I'm going in with the Moroccan Gold Cream Rinse Conditioner from She Sent It. And if you guys remember when I did this review, um, there was kind of a little bit of a debacle and I'm 100% positive that my labels were switched on my bottles. So the bottle that you see is the two-in-one shampoo, but this is not shampoo. I promise you there is conditioner in this bottle. Um, so I, I'm sticking to my guns on that and that is how I use it. In my bottle that says conditioner, I use a shampoo and it foams like a shampoo and it cleans like a shampoo. So now that we have that out of the way, <laughs> Um, I've been dealing with a lot of tangles. You guys know I've kind of struggled with like keeping up with maintaining my hair with everything that has been going on in my home life this year. So your girl's been getting more tangles because I haven't been washing my hair as frequently as I usually do. I'm getting better about it, but it's been taking some time. So I'm going to use this conditioner to help with my detangling process. And I'm going to be using my Philips Flex brush. If I can still find a link to this brush, I will link it in the description box. This is one of my favorite detanglers. And can we just, I had to put in this little like, this little moment. It's giving influencer. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm just going in with my brush mostly to get out the extra shed hair. Um, I haven't been doing as good of a job as getting out like that extra shed hair. Um, and because of my endo and my heavy cycles, I tend to shed a lot. So I wanted to make sure I was getting everything and this definitely got out every single bit of shed hair. Um, my curls are really, really tight. You guys know that my hair shrinks up pretty significantly. I'd say I have about 80 to 85% shrinkage. So having that brush to help me get all that extra hair out is really helpful. And you'll see in a minute, there was definitely a spot there that I had like 
a huge tangle just from shed hair that I never got out. So um, you totally don't have to use a rinse out conditioner before you deep condition. I usually don't, but I had hella tangles. So I was doing the most today. <laughs> And you guys can see I hit a pretty, pretty bad tangle. Um, and it, it looks rougher here because it's sped up. But just take your time um, and get all of that extra hair out of the way. And then I just gently pulled the ha as many hairs as I could out of the tangle. And then eventually the knot just came through. So just, you know, be patient with it and you'll be able to get it out. And then we're going to go ahead and rinse that bad boy out. Um, again, you want to make sure you're rinsing everything. Um, and this helps so much. My hair was really well detangled. The deep conditioner that I'm using after this has really, really good slip, but I felt the need to go in with something extra. Baby, I've been going nowhere lately. It's time to start all over and go for it. Cause they don't even... all right and now let's deep condition so i'm going to be using my plum nectar and agave moisture rich hair mayo this is like chef's kiss 10 out of 10 one of the best deep conditioners i own y'all know she sent it does no wrong when it comes to deep conditioners they get it right every single time um this is really great i would say it's like more on the balancing side it has a lot of moisture but this makes my hair feel strong in a way that's more of like a silkening feeling so this has really really great slip and you can see at this point um, I'm just able to easily rake it through and typically when I'm in the shower I just separate my hair into halves and I just apply a conditioner to one half of my head and then apply it to the other half of my head and go about my business and that's just because I mean like it's steamy I don't have to keep going back and reaching for water so I don't need as many sections to keep my hair detangled and make the process easier so I'm just applying this deep conditioner to both halves of my head and I'm just going to slap a plastic cap over it and use my deep conditioning cap. Um, I think the one that I have is from Glow by Day. I'll put a link in the description, of course. Um, but yeah, after all of the detangling and everything, super easy process. And I didn't feel like getting back in the shower after this. <laughs> so I went ahead and just rinsed my hair out off camera and this is how she looks, super silky and soft extra moisturized super happy with it i'm always happy with it so i'm going in with an og combination guys you guys ask me about this a lot and it's been um at least four years since i've done a video with this combination so i'm going to be starting off with the pomegranate pear moisture milk pomegranate pear from she sent it is one of my favorite collections um I absolutely love this hair milk. I love hair milks in general, but this is one of my favorite hair milks that I have in my collection. It is lightweight, but it still packs a really great punch with the moisture. Um, and it, it just does all the right things. It adds shine to my hair. It makes my hair feel soft, but not too soft. And it glides through my hair like butter. So absolutely love it. Highly suggest it if you're in the market for a good hair milk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. 
And now for the star. The oil and gel hair pudding has been one of my favorite stylers for years. I talk about this often. It has remained one of my favorites and will probably always remain one of my favorites as long as nothing changes. Um, I like to add a little bit of water to each section of my hair and then go in with this. So the thing about the oil and gel hair pudding is that even though it applies like something that would have a stronger hold, this has a very lightweight, flexible, fluffy hold. Um, there are a lot of times when people say, oh, well, I tried this and I know you like it, but it just didn't do anything for me. Like it doesn't have a lot of hold. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. Like I said, um, every time I talk about this product, I tell you guys, this is one of my go-tos for a fluffy wash and go. I still get definition. I still get shine. Um, but I get a lot of bounce and a lot of fluff. This is not a product that you are going to get a ton of hold out of. I like that. If you don't like that, then this is not for you. <laughs> but I've never told you guys that this product was anything but that. Um, this applies so smooth and it does kind of weigh the hair down a bit. Um, but it doesn't weigh the hair down too much for me. So even though I have finer strands, I don't have the highest density in the world. This doesn't give me helmet hair. So I'm just going in and applying it to each section and you can see once I finish with each section, I like to go in and kind of scrunch the ends a bit. Now I'm not doing that for definition. I'm doing it to lift my strands off of my scalp um, because I don't want them to dry completely laid to my head. So that's why I do that. And then I'm just going back in and scrunching again to make sure that those pieces of hair are lifted off of my scalp because it's how I want my hair to dry. Um, and this is what she's looking like with all the product applied. Nice and glossy. Um, I have been personally victimized by this part in the back of my head, but whatever. It, it's real life out here, y'all. <laughs> but application of this is always A1, a sure thing. Um, and I just allow this to dry underneath my hooded dryer for like an hour or two. And now we're moving on to the next day. I'm taking my Bride Beauty Supply hair oil and I am scrunching everything out. I have already previously stretched my hair with the blow dryer. Um, if you want to know what technique I use, I suggest going and checking out Raina from Happy Curl Happy Girl on YouTube. I use her method. Um, and it works really well every time. So I just did that to help me go ahead and start breaking apart pieces in my hair. You can see like my hair is really like kind of stuck together. I don't mind that, but I do like being able to fluff it out and pick it out without having too much trouble. So this is day one. She's really fluffy, but this is still flat for what like this hair can, this whole wash day process can do. Um, so this is day one. I wanted to give y'all a full, like, cute, fluffy, like, Diana Ross hair moment, but life has been lifing, y'all. I ain't had time for that. <laughs> so now we've moved on. This is day six hair. Um, it just gets better and better for me, and I absolutely love it. It's fluffy. It's defined. It still has shine. It has tons of bounce, and my hair is super soft. Um, like I said, it's a super fluffy wash and go and y'all know I love the fluff. So this has been the wash and go that you guys have seen in quite a few of my recent videos that you guys have been asking about and I figured I'd show it to you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different from what I usually do, but I still had fun filming it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. All the products will be listed in the description box below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.